Hello and welcome to the Ghost Slayers Report. I'm with you as always, John Dole, coming to you right from Tokyo, Japan. Now if you haven't noticed, there's things are heating up a little bit between the bourgeois here in East Asia. Uh, it all centers around Senkaku Islands. A disputed center of islands has been going on for quite some time between Japan and China. Now recently um, China expanded their air defense zone. If you don't know what an air defense zone is, it's an area directly off a nation's territory. They can claim as their own territory and they can defend it with their own military. Well, Senkaku Islands have been disputed for quite some time between the bourgeois classes here in Japan and in China. And as you all know, China is communist in name only. All right? They're very, very capitalist and they're controlled by bourgeois. And as we know in Japan, the bourgeois have a tight grip on the means of production here. And this situation is no different. Now, recently, after Japan, after China, excuse me, claimed this air defense zone, they have started patrolling it and demanding that any uh, airplanes or any craft to enter that area state who they are, where they're from, and their purpose. Now, there's been three countries who have ignored this. Excuse me, yeah, three. Japan, South Korea, and America. Now, recently, Japan has flown planes through there both civilian and military. They've ignored their defense zone. South Korea has also done this as well, well as America's scrambling B-52s to the area. Now, this has become more tense to the point that now China has warplanes in the area patrolling it. Right outside the zone you have Japanese and American forces carrying out military drills. Now this is getting worse and worse, but why are the bourgeois fighting over what amounts to a group of rocks out in the middle, out in the middle of the ocean? Well, it's not so much the islands they're fighting over. They're fighting over control of resources. A few years back, uh, Japan discovered a massive uh, natural gas reserve in that area. And that's when Japan started to become more and more protective of these islands. At the same time, the bourgeois in China made a claim to it. So you see what they're fighting over. They're fighting over resources, control of resources for their own benefit. It doesn't benefit us, the people, at all. Because once this is settled, whoever has control of those resources will exploit it and use it to, again, collect, increase profit and capital. It will not benefit us here in Japan at all. It won't benefit the people. The use of natural gas, most likely for energy or other purposes, and then sell it to us. Make us pay for the privilege of them controlling it. The same thing will happen in China. Now why is South Korea even involved in this? Well South Korea is a is an imperialist power which is also a puppet of the American imperialist. Same goes in Japan. The bourgeois here in Japan are ultimately puppets and clowns at this point for the American imperialist. So of course these these groups are going to interact with each other and they don't like each other. They don't even care about each other. They simply want control of these resources. So they're starting to butt heads as happened with, as happened with all imperialist powers as they start to expand. They start to butt heads, they start to come together and we have conflict. Now will this lead to open war? or some type of military conflict, that depends. It depends on how far 
They push it. Who cuts a deal with who? What happens? Bind behind closed doors. But again, it does not benefit us. We the people do not benefit from this conflict. But rest assured, bourgeois class have no problem throwing us in a line of fire. Even getting us killed. For something that only benefits them. Not us. So yeah. They will push it to open warfare if they have to. And they will put us, the proletariat, on warships, on warplanes, and have us go and fight and kill each other. Only their benefit. But what is the alternative? Well, I think we know the alternative here. If the people rose up, if the people were properly prepared and had an alternative system in place and had the proper leadership and the knowledge, we could take over. And our alternative would be to share the resources based on need so we could all benefit from the massive natural gas reserve that is in that area. But we don't have that power right now. So instead, the bourgeois claim to be representing us. Go on and on and on about nationalism. And how we must fight the others. The so-called enemy. But, who, but our enemy is not their enemy. But at this point, the people the masses still have faith in the bourgeois government, in the bourgeois order, in the bourgeois social construct. So this should be a lesson to be learned. As communist, as Marxist, we must develop an alternative system. We must develop our own economy, our own systems of government, our own systems of, of deciding how things are going to be and get people on our side to come over to us. We must offer something better. So that's what I'm gonna say for now on this current rigmarole, the bourgeois are kicking up over here in East Asia. And be warned, they will put us in the line of fire and they will get us murdered and make us murder each other and kill each other simply for their benefit and their continued control of natural resources and the means of production. So until next time, this is John Dole here in Tokyo. If it's the first time you've seen me, please subscribe. You'll get videos like this has a slew of other interesting things. So, it's me checking out.